Swissborg is the official partner of my channel where you can buy, sell, hold, and more importantly, stake your cryptocurrencies. You can even earn yield on your stable coins. Sign up with my link and you'll earn up to $100 worth of their native token CHSB just for depositing 50 euros worth of crypto. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. Alt stand pump. Actually, how can you expect here? I said it yesterday, but said it for the last couple of weeks, and uh, we were looking at, at the uh, individual altcoins on the total, not the total market cap, on uh, on the Patreon live stream last night. To which you might as well want to think about joining up. Links in the description below. Seven pounds fifty a month. Two live streams a week. But yeah, we were looking at lots of altcoins last night, and it does now look like they're starting to scrape out some lows, and uh, some of them are already moving up, as you're probably more than aware. Um, but I've been basing my analysis mostly not on the individual charts, although some of them have got good charts, but on the overall market, not just for crypto, but for everything, euro, S&P, gold, the lot, dollar. So again, just to reiterate, in case you haven't seen me over the last, well, the last week or two, I've been talking about the Golden Cross retest, perfect entry for altcoins here. Gold Cross, retested, 200 exponential, bang. That normally leads into some form of, well, breakout. I'll show you what we saw on the Euro. We told you, Royal Wee being me, I told you we're moving up. I told you we're going to pull into the Golden Cross. I told you we're going to come out of the Golden Cross and probably make a new high. We're waiting for that new high. We've got a pump signal. We're on our way. It's the same setup as Total Market Cap 2. Uh, what else has this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, here's, here's another one. Uh, here's your gold. Okay, and we're going up. I said we're going to pull back into the 200 exponential. I said we're going to move back up onto a new local high. Exactly as expected, just like the total market cap too. And who else has got this? Bitcoin's got this. So we pulled back a little deeper into the simple moving average. It's still a golden cross retest. And then I said we're going to do a V-shaped recovery, guys. La, 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 la. All the way up to a new high with a trend signal so golden cross trend signal ichimoku cloud the lot there you go absolutely wham bam thank you ma'am here we go so total market cap 2 has the same setup as gold as euro as bitcoin the only difference is is that it's actually in the early stages of actually moving from that so same same old same old couple that with the dominance chart like i said this is our zone of significance Enter 10% at the bottom. I entered another 10% here, which ended up being what appears to be a, a, a little bit of a local high here. And we look like we're breaking down a bit. Again, you know, I'm not a genius, although I have called it once again. Now, yesterday after the stream, you know, I was getting quite tempted to enter some altcoins. So actually, you know, just before bed, I did put some uh, uh, some some buy orders into a couple being Pundi X and EWT. You know, not going crazy, not 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 crazy stuff, but it you know it did look quite tasty for these alts, these alts to start moving now. So I have uh, I, I allocated a little bit more, and um, so I'm I'm in 25% of the Bitcoin I bought around 20,500 around these areas. So whatever I bought around here, 25% of that has now gone into alts for what I think is going to do, well, roughly about 60% or so. Right, so with Bitcoin, what we're looking at, so again, yesterday, uh, just as we were the day before, supported on the Bollinger Band. The Bollinger Bands are pinching a little bit. I'm not looking for a massive breakout immediately on this, but I think a breakout is 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 necessary. And the only thing that would likely cancel it is if this cheeky band touches the price action. So it looks as though we've got a few days, maybe the best part of a week, uh, before we get close to the price action here. So I'll just measure this out. We've got eight days um, roughly about six to eight days before we actually have to get worried about hitting the the uh, the price action, unless of course we dump into the twenty five thousand dollar range, which is possible, but at the moment seems relatively unlikely. Um, the range top over here would be into the thirty, well, it's about just short of thirty two thousand. That's backed up now by the monthly Bollinger Band, which is all sitting around that level, so just around the thirty two thousand dollar zone would likely be a significant peak for uh, for Bitcoin and a rejection from there. Now that could be a rejection that takes us all the way down to the 25,000, but we don't know until we get there. We have to assess the situation when it gets closer. So, you know, I'm quite bullish, <clears throat> as you probably guessed, over the last couple of weeks, um, this being the third week of when we're looking for the old season to start picking up pace. Um, the Euro, as I said, you know, is looking sweet now. Uh, we've got our pump signal on the Ichimoku cloud at resistance, 
with the Golden Cross, which has been retested. So we're looking for a breakout on this now, um, a breakout on the Euro to roughly between 112 to 114 is our next major target. Um, couple that with the weak dollar. Well, we'll have a look at the weak dollar, get, have a look at the old Dixie, which is basically the opposite of that. We've got ourselves a short signal. Uh, the short signal you'd expect to take us down to the next major level of, su um, of, of support, which is back down to where it could be double bottoming. I don't think so. With this kind of setup, with this kind of momentum, and with that on the Euro, I think we are going to break down below 100. And so if that's the case, we can uh, cast our eyes back to this previous channel, the channel which helped us determine the top, uh, to which lots of people were watching the channel said, I want you to realise we're going to 120 on the Dixie you're wrong. But really, you know, it's, it's actually been quite a simple chart, although I did apply things like yen, dollar yen to, to my analysis you know we've been in this range for about 12 years and we reached the top it seems reasonable now given the momentum and speed that we are actually going to come down towards the bottom so we're talking like mid 90s now for uh, for the dixie again we're talking about this on a weekly or so there's going to be moves and bumps uh, and uh, and bounces along the way but with the euro with that pump signal and the dixie with a short signal i mean it doesn't look good for the old dixie which means that everything else should look good. So we got ourselves a rejection here on the S&P yesterday. Um, and again, I would be more comfortable buying a little lower, um, maybe 4.42. You know, there's no reason to think that this is going to be a support on a daily. And I always prefer dailies uh, for gauging supports. But the 4 hourly is bullish AF. Pump signal on the 4 hourly, getting supported on the 7 simple moving average, which is kind of ridiculous because that's where the bulls are really stepping in. So the bears getting absolutely wrecked over here as well. Uh, and again, gold, we, we understand that gold is, is going on to new all-time highs. Uh, we've said this for ages, so it comes as no surprise. So everything apparently working exactly as expected. So luckily for me, I don't have to bow to that, um, to that, 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 uh, that comment, which is that if I am wrong about this, I have to delete my channel because obviously that's the sort of thing I would do. Um, you know, in respect to uh, the, the comment, I would have to delete the channel uh, because that's what a reasonable person does. But but luckily for me, yeah, I don't have to do that. By the looks of things, it does look like we are going to get that 60 to 70% across the board for alts. And it looks like it's going to start with top caps, but um, we've been saying this for a little while. It does look like it's going to start with the top caps like Ethereum and then all the others will follow. But these things can move quite fast. And judge in each individual chart on its own merit, uh, and things aren't going to go straight up, so you know, just just recognise that if we go if we do go into this old season, which it looks like we are going to now, or we are already in, then yeah, it will take a little bit of time to pick up momentum, and for the most part, you know, people will FOMO and they will get wrecked, and people like you and I have layered in carefully over the last couple of weeks, uh, based on the broader picture. And that's where we will make the money because we're at the top of the Ponzi scheme. You know, we bought while well, no one else wanted. Now they will be buying when they start to see the green flooding into their um, in, into their uh, into their charts. Oh, it is green. Oh, it's green again. Oh, this is four green days in a row. Oh my God, it's been green for two weeks. Oh, I'm going to have to buy it. wrecked. No, that's not how you trade. It's counterintuitive. It's what Captain Noobmaster really struggles with. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there, but good luck with all of this. And like I say, I appreciate your patience with a setup like this. It has been two weeks in the making, but this is where most of my analysis really comes into play because the Dixie was more than... I was telling you about this Dixie downtrend as we were approaching the top, uh, anticipating the downtrend. People weren't able to see that. Same thing with the S&P. I was saying that I very much do believe that this is the low for the S&P and stock should continue on from here. People ref refuse to accept that the case. Gold, again, I told you all about gold. Again, same old, same old. And here we go again with the dominance chart. So there's a very likely possibility of a rejection around here, here, or here. And it does look like we're getting it here now below the Bollinger Band. So yet yeah, sometimes you do have to be patient. Um, because I look at things based on a daily time frame, so just rec recognize that for what it is. But you know, when you're doing on the when you're looking at the higher term time frames, that's where the bigger moves are generated. The only problem you're going to have is patience. And patience, yeah, you know, patience. You've got to have patience, otherwise, it won't. You're going to torture yourself. 
Right, let's sit back, watch and wait. If we're right, we're right. We'll be in for a run and uh, we'll be enjoying ourselves. If we're wrong, no big deal. I've only committed 25% into the alts, but I was prepared to put in as much as 50 if we do go higher. And I'm still prepared for that if we do go higher on the dominance chart and on Bitcoin. Right, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Patreon. The Telegram is in the link in the description below. Or oh, that's free. And I've got links for absolutely everything you could possibly ever want. So click those if you need them. Other than that, have a nice day and take it easy.